Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the Selling General and Administrator Expenses, or also known as the SGNA. As we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition, then we'll look at some examples and give you a little more insight there. SGNA is a major non-production cost reported on the income statement. It is the sum of all direct and indirect selling expenses and all general and administrative expenses of a company. SGNA are usually recurring costs and they do not generally include one-time costs. Direct selling expenses are expenses that can be directly linked to the sale of a specific unit such as an advertising expense. Indirect selling expenses are expenses which cannot be directly linked to the sale of a specific unit, but which are proportionally allocated to all units sold during a certain period such as telephone, electric, and postal charges. General and administrative expenses include salaries of non-sales personnel, which would be like uh, management, and also items such as rent, heat, travel costs, etc. And every company is going to have uh, different items in there. Okay, now I'm on the Yahoo Finance page. I'm looking at the income statement. That's where you're going to find this particular bit of information. I'm selling general administrative expense right there under the operating expense category. And uh, in, like I said, you can find this anywhere. I'm on Yahoo Finance. You can find it on your Google Finance. You can find it on your discount brokers. You can find the income statement in your uh, company's annual report, so forth and so on. So this is information that you're going to definitely want to uh, understand and review every time the new data comes out. Uh, whenever you're looking at selling general and administrative, like I said, every different company is going to have different items in there, same categories but varying amounts, and they're all going to be uh, completely different from one another. Uh, and you don't want to take just the number itself and then go compare it to another number and say, okay, this one's got 18.1, and then I find another one that's got 17.3, so that would obviously would be better. No, that obviously wouldn't be better. Uh, what you want to do uh, instead of looking at just the number is actually look at the number compared to the gross profit. Uh, do the math there and get the percentage when you take this number here and divide it by this number here. In this particular case, looking at Coca Cola right now, you, they're going to typically run in the 60 range, the 65. Um, anywhere in that range, that's a percentage of the gross profit that is going out to sell, uh, selling general and administrative expenses, um, and that's actually kind of high. You know, anything under thirty percent is considered fantastic. So when you're looking at that, and you say, well, in accounting, anything under thirty percent is considered great. Well, this guy's way over that. Yeah, but this guy's also a great company. We know that for many different um, reasons. Uh, Warren Buffett buys it, loves it, and they're consistently making money. Um, the the reality there is they're consistently making money uh, and that's the difference uh, when you're looking at this one it's being consistently about 60 65 percent uh, of the gross profit going out and selling general administrative uh, that's fine when you have a company that has a situation like a Ford Motor Company that would have uh, selling general administrative expenses be much higher um, but their, their, their uh, percentage of the gross profit would also be um, very sporadic. So for example, uh, if Ford Motor Company would have a recession, uh, they would all of a sudden you'd see their gross uh, or their selling general administrative expenses would become a uh, as a percent of gross profit would become something like a 500 percent of that because they basically didn't make any money and they're not bleeding red. Uh, you don't want to see that. And I think it's wildly fluctuating all over the place. You know, one great year they're they're looking at uh, 40 percent, and then you know probably would never be that low, but uh, the the next year they're looking at uh, you know it's 300 percent of gross profit. So there's something there that you want to avoid, and that's a company that is not consistently uh, profitable. And basically, that selling general administrative, that's how you would compare them against different individual companies, not the number itself. Not looking at just the 18.1, but you're actually looking at the percentage of gross profit. Now you can look at and compare those two and get a more uh, realistic comparison between individual companies, even in different industries. Because what you're really looking for is how do they compare to their gross profit? Is that gross profit stable, consistent? And if it is, can it support the selling general and administrative costs? One last item I'd like to note anytime that you're looking at a selling general and administrative expense, that is 80% to 100% of the gross profit margin, you're probably looking at a highly competitive company and you'd want to just steer clear of that particular uh, scenario. They don't have that, that moat or that, that benefit to the company that's going to uh, allow it to be uh, su uh, really uh, successful and profitable for an investor over the long term. Now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. 
You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.